there, everybody. Thomas with Basecamp Trading. It is Tuesday, January 29th, and we're going to take a look really quick here at the indices. And I want to talk about a topic um, about trading correlated markets. And one mistake I see a lot of people making is they look at a group of correlated markets. For example, we're looking here at the S&P, the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the Russell, so the indices. And they'll say, okay, I'm going to go, if I'm trying to go short these markets, I'm going to sell the one that's the highest, the one that's behind everything else so that it has the furthest to go. And really what we should be doing, if we're looking to go short, we should be selling the weakest because that's the one that's showing that it's most likely to sell off and follow through. So for example, today, one of the things we were talking, we were talking about in the trading room is the Dow was being the strongest, was the strongest of all the indices. And the NASDAQ was the weakest of the indices. And you can look at the difference here. The NASDAQ's in the lower left and the Dow's in the upper right. And you see here, the reason we knew that um, the Dow was the weakest is because if you look, or the, the NASDAQ was the weakest, excuse me, if you look at 10 o'clock, NASDAQ had sold off and had retraced about 50% of its move. But if you look at 10 o'clock and the Dow... The Dow had sold off and then rallied all the way up and hit new highs. And you can see we then proceeded to sell off, which is this sell off here in the NASDAQ. And the NASDAQ retraced once again about 50% of its move, whereas the Dow jumped up and hit a new high on that bounce. So the Dow was showing a lot more upside strength than the NASDAQ. So when we were shorting, we were looking to sell the NASDAQ more so than the Dow. And if we we're looking to go long, we'd want to be going long the Dow and not the NASDAQ. Then the S&P and the Russell are just kind of neutral in the middle uh, where they're not really showing more strength one way or the other. So keep that in mind when you're looking at these markets and you're going, okay, which one do I want to buy? Which one do I want to sell? Sell the weakest, buy the strongest. And that'll make it so that you have a higher probability when it runs that it actually gets a really nice big move in your favor. Instead of trying to play catch up and say, I'm going to sell the strongest one because it has the furthest way to go. All right. So that's it for today. I hope it helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. It helps bring more attention to the Basecamp Training community. And until next time, everybody, happy trading.